join me on Falcon Lake at Westwood Lakes Complex, which is the most prolific venue I've ever had a chance of fishing. Some of the weights here are absolutely staggering with F1 catches to over 200, nearly 300 pound in five hour matches. Over the last few years, I've fished the Dyra Spring Classic here and I've picked up some fantastic tips, tactics off a number of great anglers. Myself, I've caught over 200 pound a few times on this lake, fishing mainly shallow on pellets, but today I'm going to show you a different method, a bit of a go back to method if things aren't going so right. I'm going to target the far margin, fishing sloppy ground bait and maggots. The most important part of this style of fishing is the target area on the far bank. So I'm going to put a nice heavy plummet. I'm going to ship across. My rig set at 12 inches deep. I'm going to ship across that nice clean mud line that you can see there. I'm just going to push that up. And as you can see, my rig it's set six inches off that far bank. My float's just fully showing. So that is going to be ideal for me, just to push my rig up tight against that far bank and stop them F1s and carp coming behind my rig and causing me loads of liners. I want this nice, clean and simple. I want to be going in, emptying my pot, getting a quick bite and looking to fish straight away. Bait wise, nice and simple for me. I've got some quill ground bait. Takes loads of water, nice and heavy. This is the mix that I'm going to be using to kick off my far bank line. Then I've got the same stuff, but nice and sloppy. Loads of water in here. So this is the stuff that's making a massive cloud, bringing the MF1s and hopefully some carp into that far bank mud line. And then dead maggots. I might put a few of these in a the sloppy mix. I'm going to fish two, three, maybe a bunch of these on my hook. And then I've got some water just to keep my hands clean. Or I can add it to my sloppy mix, make it even sloppier, making a big more cloud and uh, attracting more fish into that peg. Just nice and simple for me. I'm going to kick off that far bank line now. So I'm using that heavy creel ground bait that I showed you earlier, nice and damp. I'm kicking off with a full pot. So at this point, take your time because it's got a heavy pot. I'm going to ship that up to that far bank line and empty that out there. Just going to clean my pot out as well. So that's my initial pot fed now. That's going to get those fish up onto that mud line. And then even though I've put that in, I'm going to go straight in with my rig, feeding some of the sloppier mix over the top. Because even though I've put that initial bed of ground bait in, I'll still want to go in and create a cloud there's a lot of fish in here, big volume of fish, and I want something going through my peg all the time, creating a cloud and getting those fish swimming around, looking for my hook bait. There you go. You can see that that took literally seconds from emptying that pot. Those fish have gone straight in there. Had a look at into that cloud. I've got a nice chunky F1 first chuck. As you can see, I'm catching a large number of fish now in that shallow water against that far bank mud line. One thing I do want to mention is I'm using these new F1 speed kits. These are one piece construction style top and I've matched these up with blue and orange hydroelastic. These allow me to net the fish a lot closer to myself, not having to move around so much, not having to reach up because I'm using a short style rig. And this is one thing that I think is really important when I'm doing this style of fishing. These definitely put more fish in my net. Another thing that I want to mention is comfort. As you can see, my setup's nice and simple. I've got my two side trays just for the items that I think I'm going to need during the match. Another thing I want to point out is my keep nets. In front of me, you'll see the new Daiwa compactor keep nets. Westwood Lakes, like many UK commercial fisheries, state that you have to use a minimum of three or four keep nets. These have been designed so they cut the space down in front of you. So you haven't got keep nets taking up a lot of room. This is making my fishing a lot easier um, not getting in the way when I'm netting fish. Another thing I also would like to point out is my landing net. I've got my nice roost there so when I net fish 
I'm putting that back in the roost and I'm picking the fish out of the net. Then I don't have to worry about putting my landing net down anywhere else. Over the course of five hours, this is saving me time and because of that, I'm catching more fish. Thank you.